lovers, my name is Malia and I review books without spoilers. I also discuss hot topics, talk about new book series, and I'll be interviewing influential people. But my end goal is to intrigue you enough to utilize your imagination and experience the book for yourself. Pique your interest and satisfy your hunger. So let's get started. This week I read The Out of Paris by Melissa de la Cruz. Really quick, I love saying her name. Melissa de la Cruz. It's just so pretty. Summer Out of Paris needed immediately for energetic children between 3 and 10 years old. Ooh. Join an NYC family for the best summer of your life, East Hampton, July 4th through Labor Day. Pay $10,000, driver's license, and familiarity with the Hamptons a must. And so I love this book. One of the three au pairs discreetly named Eliza. She was right in the heart of East Hampton and she never felt uncomfortable. But in her case, her dad went from hero to zero. He was making a ton of money and then he started making cardboard signs. And so she was so desperate to leave her unmentionable city that she ventured off to become an au pair in the East Hamptons. And she unknowingly bumped into one of her fellow au pairs who was a little ill-dressed and foreign looking. That's the first chapter, so that's where it starts. Doesn't give any spoilers on that one. And I really enjoyed it, but I do give it a rating of six out of 10. Why? because I didn't like one of the main characters. This is a book of three different perspectives from three different girls. I didn't like one of the characters and that's one third of the book so I give it a one third wit rating which is six out of ten. It's a really quick read about 294 pages and well worth it because it'll start you off into the next two books which are a lot better. Did like this book but I think it could have been better and that's why I give it a six out of ten rating. This week we're going to be doing on Sunday The Martian and it is a book turned movie so I'll be doing a review of the book and a review of the movie but without any spoilers so it's safe to watch and you can watch it over and over again if you'd like to. And then on Tuesday we're going to be doing Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins and if you've never heard of Anthony Robbins look him up right now. He inspired me in so many ways and you know the island of Fiji? Yeah. He owns it and he has the biggest resort on there. So next time you're in Fiji, just know it's because of Anthony Robbins and tune in Tuesday to hear what I have to say about his amazing book, Unlimited Power. Tune in this Sunday for The Martian and this Tuesday for Unlimited Power. Any booktubers, any advice or any comments, I'd love to hear about what you have to say. And if there's any books you're interested in, let's read them together. I'd love to do that with you guys. Enjoy every moment and thank you for your time.